How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 22 released just this week and there's been a few secret things found within that update that hasn't previously been mentioned. We're going to talk about that. A few potential clues for the next update, Series 23. A few leaks, you know the kind of stuff we talk about now. Let's jump straight into it. Really quick, I have some giveaway codes for the new Horizon car pack that's just come out in this latest update. These four new cars, I have some codes to give away to you guys if you want a chance to win any of these codes make sure you subscribe and put your xbox gamer tag in the comment section below and i will message a few of you at random uh, whenever i suppose i'll give you a few days so we'll start off with the boring stuff over on twitter there's been a new identified issue where vinyl and photo search is not working properly for some players they are tracking this issue on the troubleshooting hub now and we have the usual monthly graphics all to do with the latest update we have all of the reward cars and the appropriate days in which you can unlock them it is quickly worth noting that one of the cars more specifically the amg black series was one of the highly requested cars over on the suggestions hub i've been saying Saying this for a good few weeks now I think they're finally listening properly they're given us one of the cars we really wanted let's see what else they're gonna bring and we have the main changelog tweet as well which goes into detail about all the main features and the game fixes now if we take a look at the full release notes we can look at each individual fix that was implemented in the update this is every single general bug fix that was fixed within the update literally every single one this is the full changelog this is every single car related fix that was done within the update and this is every single accolade related fix within the update as well. There were no event lab multiplayer or other fixes within series 2022 update that is the full changelog. Now onto some of the more interesting stuff. In Horizon 5 if you want to view every single car that's in the game there's a couple of ways of doing this. One the car collection but number two is Horizon Promo. Horizon Promo lists every car that's in the game, including the traffic vehicles and stuff like that, because you need to take a photo of them. It includes all the exclusive ones, um, you know, every rare car. Now, Horizon Promo in this latest update has had two new cars pop up on that list that we're not able to obtain and drive properly yet. And it is Barbie cars. We have a Barbie movie Corvette chevrolet corvette and a barbie movie hummer electric hummer now what's interesting is the corvette is also listed as electric as well an electric vehicle now obviously this is not part of series 22 so there's only one reason that these would be within this is that it's coming in the future which it is i would say now i never thought i'd be researching into barbie for a thoughts video but i did um, there is a Barbie movie releasing on the 21st of July, which is about a month away, about a month to be exact. You can find a few articles about this sort of movie having a, an electric Corvette in it. First released image from the upcoming Barbie movie shows Margot Robbie driving a C1 Corvette with some interesting styling changes. And we get a photo of her in the car. Now that seems to be the same car that is in the Horizon promo that's just popped up within the game. So... As I said, the release date is the 21st of July for this movie. And if we have a look at the next update splash screen, which is this, where is it on my screen? Summer Party, that begins on July 20th. So I would say there's a fairly good chance that these Barbie cars will be in addition within the next update. I might be wrong, we can't presume, but we can guess. I don't want you guys to expect the whole series to be Barbie related. I highly doubt that. It's probably just going to be a fun little addition that we've now had a glimpse on. So uh, I, I don't really know what to say about that. Barbie cars, I suppose. If you're finding this video interesting and helpful, guys, please do consider subscribing by the end of the video. I'll really appreciate it. And you won't miss any videos like this covering whatever's happening. Let's continue. Now, as you know, in every update that's released, there are certain people that like to snoop around in the files to see if they can find anything new in terms of leaks. Well, I believe these new files have already been looked over and a few little things were found, nothing too exciting. These came from upgrade preset strings. Shout out to TTR55 as usual, by the way. Um, it seems that the high and low Donut Media 350Z will have a V8 swap preset. It's pretty cool to know that. We can unlock them cars today, actually. And there, there is also in the files a mention of some classic Hot Wheels cars. 
Out of the cars on the list below, I can't seem to find any exact car for Classic Coupe. And he proceeds to list a lot of sort of Hot Wheels related cars that have been found within the upgrade preset strings. Now, don't expect all, like, don't expect 10 new Hot Wheels cars to be added to the game. That's not the case at all. There's always lots of random breadcrumbs just all over the files that mean nothing some things mean something it's all very random chances are these are just engine swap related i would say but it's worth remembering things like this for the future just in case anything else comes up but yeah in terms of leaks and looking over the files tgr has only managed to find little things like this nothing major so far a few other things have been going on we've had a few tweets and a bit of palaver about the car pack that came out so i'm sure you know which one i'm on about it seemed quite delayed and the rollout seemed to be going a little bit funny it didn't release when it should have done it was sort of delayed for a little bit it was a bit, little bit of a messy release but in the end it was out and all was dandy there's a little faq here where they've answered a few of the expected questions that you might be asking about the car pack now about cars now about the car pack someone over on gt planet had a pretty good theory in my opinion that i want to bring it up and quickly discuss he said ignore the top paragraph he said that he's expecting this new car pack to be a toe in the water for forza motorsports 8's post launch dlc strategy if you don't know what he means by this he's trying to say that Playground Games slash Turn 10, you know, the Forza folk might be just testing how the community, how we react to a car pack being added to the game that's cheap but small. Four cars for four pound. It's pretty reasonable, especially because they're new to Forza cars. The theory is that this is them just testing it out, you know, dipping their feet in the water of what doing something like this is about because this wasn't included in the Ultimate Edition of the games, so anybody's got to pay for it. You know, even if you've got the Ultimate Edition, you have to pay for this car pack. This guy's suspecting, and I agree, it might be their sort of way of testing how the community reacts to such a thing to see if that's the route they want to take for the post-launch content of Forza Motorsport this year. Let me know what you guys think of that. Would you be happy, even if you bought the Ultimate Edition of Forza Motorsport, or at least the premium add-on, to have to pay for car packs if they were this cheap? You know, £4, $5, it's really not that expensive, especially for some good cars. What do you guys think? One last thing that made me laugh over on GT Planet, someone saw that there's quite a lot of, I guess they're not spelling mistakes, but they kind of are. But in Forza Horizon 5, the donut media sort of text around the new cars and the new story is spelt like this, as in donut, which isn't the way that they spell it. So I don't know how that's managed to slip through. It should be spelt D-O-N-U-T, not donut. It's, it's, it's a minor thing, but it just made me laugh. That is everything to talk about today, guys. Subscribe for more content just like this. You won't miss another video, and I'll see you all later.